rematch of 2018 against his Democratic uh, opponent, Stacey Abrams. But like we are showing you on the screen right now, it looks like about 11% of the vote is counted in the Senate race so far. And at that moment, Dell, you caught it. I didn't catch it. Who was in? Who was um, in? Warnock was in um, first place in that. But once again, it's 11%. so early. Yeah, yeah, we're talking 11% of the vote, so everybody's going to be watching that one throughout the evening. And again, on that particular poll that we were looking at right there, those results, Stacey Abrams is leading. We know it is going to be uh, early. So we want to talk about some of the dynamics that are at play here in Georgia, and, and we have just the person to do it. Latasha Brown is a political strategist and consultant. She co-founded the voting rights group Black Votes Matter, which has done a lot of work here in Georgia. Latasha, good to see you again. Um, what are the early numbers telling you about the black vote and, and did they show up or did they stay home? Natasha, I can't hear you. Did you mute me? I think, you yes, did. can you hear me? I got you, you now. hear me? You got okay, me. great, thank you for having me. So I think what the early voters vote is telling us is that one, what we know is there's almost two million votes that have been cast so far. And of that, what we know is that black voters have actually been over indexing. So, you know, black voters in the state of Georgia have come out that we've actually um, broken records from early voting in a midterm election. I think we'll continue to see that. I think today what we saw is we didn't see um, the same kind of long lines that we saw in previous elections, but what we saw is we saw a steady flow of voters. And so I think the early vote is actually going to have a significant difference on this particular election. But black voters in the state of Georgia, in spite of the voter suppression and some of the other barriers, actually came out and voted in this election cycle. Latasha, that was actually a story back during the spring, um, voter suppression in Georgia. But but going into today, we saw record voter turnout. How do you square that circle? Well, that doesn't mean that voter suppression didn't happen. What that means is that what you had is a committed base of organizations and people and voters who had decided to respond to the voter suppression. People are angry about what happened with SB202. People may recall that there was a bill that was passed in Georgia in 2021, right after this special election that had the two um, U.S. senators to put them in office, that we saw this SB202 bill that, re that severely um, restricted what we saw in terms of absentee ballot voting, early voting. Um, it de a decreased the amount of drop boxes. It also created a, um, elements in which one voter can actually challenge the credibility or the validity of another voter. What we saw is in the state, we saw over 60,000, we saw tens of thousands of voters that their voting rights were actually challenged in Georgia. And that in many places, the election board actually had to clear with that. What we've also seen is that we've seen in which provisional ballots is a major change of provisional ballots, that if you get to a polling site where you used to be able, if they didn't have your name, you could cast a, a provisional ballot in that bill it has it so now that until after five o'clock before five o'clock you can't pass you can't uh, uh, have a provisional ballot you have to go to wherever site they tell you right and it's still under discretion of whoever is the poll supervisor at that site so there are many uh, provisions that actually have led to what we believe voter suppression including the inaccessibility in terms of of, of, of drop boxes I think that that's led to a severe drop in mail-in voting we had 1.2 million voters voters who voted in the hey, last election Latasha, around mail-in voting. Now it's 0.2%. Your signal's breaking up on me. I got time for 10 seconds. Okay. Warnock, Walker, who? I think Warnock is going to pull it off. I think he's going to keep that seat and he's going to carry it and continue to represent the state of Georgia. That was 10 seconds. Latasha Brown with Black Votes Matter. Latasha, as always, thank you. You're looking at the screen right now, 11% of the votes in, which